news, Nigerians. The former president, Gulag Jonathan, has finally reacted to the 2023 same faith presidential ticket of the All Progressive Congress, APC, that is being flown by Ashwedu Bola Admet Tinibu and Kasim Shotima. During a recent interview, former President Gulag Ebele Jonathan said, Yes, a Muslim Muslim or even a Christian Christian can run the state Nigeria, but I always ask myself questions on who will represent the other whenever it comes to the national days that are being celebrated. The former president stressed on the fact that because Nigerians are religious people, they need a presidential ticket featuring aspirants from the two sides, Muslim and a Christian. As a matter of fact, he recalled his days as the country's vice president, saying the tradition then is that if the vice president was a Christian, the president must be a Muslim and vice versa. He also clarified that he, this was done solely to accommodate religious diversity. In the reports gathered by Punch newspaper, the former president again spoke on contesting for the presidency, saying, if you wake up tomorrow and say that I am president again, that means there may have been circumstances beyond my control. If I go for a form and start lobbying campaigns, I will demolish myself, my wonderful people. We all know that the former president, good luck, Jonathan, is a man of peace. And um, immediately after the 2015 general elections in Nigeria, Good luck, Ebele Jonathan was pinpointed as a potential peace ambassador due to his role in ensuring the peace and stability that Nigeria is enjoying today. And we all know that most Nigerians had criticized him, shunning him, telling him that uh, he couldn't handle the Boko Haram problems in Nigeria, that uh, he's not capable enough. They laughed at him and mocked his government, saying that he is weak. You know, they said they want someone that would change Nigeria. And then people started rooting and campaigning for Buhari before 2015, when President Mohamed Buhari finally won the elections. And ever since then, Nigerians have, you know, lived to regret her actions against removing the former president, Gulag Jonathan, most Nigerians rebelled against him, saying, you know, he has not done well. In fact, he is not doing enough or more. It was too much. That man really, you know, suffered in the hands of Nigeria. But as a peaceful man, he quietly surrendered as he saw that, yes, that uh, Mohammed Buhari is going to win the 2015 election. So he surrendered peacefully. And ever since then, he has been awarded as the as an ambassador for peace. However, Nigerians have reacted to this. I can see that former President Gulok Eberi Jonathan is confused to say that Muslim Muslim tickets can run the state and Christian Christian tickets can also run the state. Jonathan, tell Nigerians that. Most free and fair elections was in 1993 when a Muslim Muslim was voted for. Ebele Jonathan is saying the same thing we have been saying. Same faith ticket is off point for us now. Hmm. Enough about this same faith ticket. Nigeria is a multi party democracy and citizens are free to make their choice based on conviction. Why did you underline Muslim, Muslim, or Christian, Christian only? Read on, you will see. Also, rock is neither a mosque or a church. It is not also a shrine for worshipping idols or any other gods, as the case may be. The presidency is the seat of power where decisions affecting the Nigerian nations are taken irrespective of the religious learning of the occurrence of the occupants, pardon, elected by the majority Nigerian people in a democratic setup. 
What Nigerians need at this point in time is good governance and not religious balance. Leaders with foresight have say it all. Where did APC get their ideology of Muslim Muslim ticket? The worst part of it is that they even refused to bring a competent person. Instead, they went and bring two scraps that can't stand for at least 30 minutes. APC, shame on you all. Hmm. That idea doesn't make sense to me at all. It looks barbaric. This is borrowed language. This borrowed language is kicking off off. It's kicking us off sometimes. Jonathan said, if it is where things were working out well, Muslim, Muslim, Christian, Christian does not matter. But in Nigeria, it is not proper. Even in his days as vice uh, and vice and president, it may never happen. I hope the language is simple. Good luck, Jonathan said, different faith is just to satisfy the religious diversity and has nothing to do with competence or good administration. I think as long as the same uh, presidency, the same faith presidency balance the equation and does not affect the sensibility of the other and ensures religious harmony, then there won't be a problem. My wonderful people, these are reactions from Nigerians. You see, Jonathan had come out to give his own view concerning the Muslim Muslim ticket of the All Progressive Congress, APC, saying that, you know, he doesn't think it will work. He also clarified that according to the Constitution, it is supposed to be if a president is a Muslim, then the vice president is supposed to be a Christian so as to accommodate religious diversity, my wonderful people. So, you know, he has given his options that Nigerians are religious people, so they need a presidential uh, ticket aspirant featuring from the both sides, both from the Muslim and the Christian, my wonderful people. And uh, Gulag Jonathan also, you know, gave his thoughts saying that uh, he will not contest for elections ever again, considering the fact that uh, what Nigerians did to him, that you won't see him running for elections again. That if eventually Nigerians wake up tomorrow and see that, okay, he's the president again, that means there may have been some circumstances beyond his control. But for him to go and pick a form and start lobbying and start running and campaigning, that he's not going to ever, you know, See himself in that position. So, guys, what's your take concerning this issue?